welcome to another episode of WFPS. You probably haven't seen me for a while, and yes, I know. I've been busy working on stuff, busy working on the new intro, as you saw. That'd be cool for 3D. And other stuff, I've been doing summer. It's summer, okay? I like to just live. Okay, I have a life outside of YouTube. But anyways, let's get down to business with why I'm making this video today. Today we are talking about the highly anticipated fourth map pack for Black Ops, Resurrection. Now, if you're not familiar with Resurrection, then I will inform you. Resurrection is the fourth map pack released for real going to be that's going to be released for Black Ops, which is only gonna, which is zombie, just zombies, just zombies. So what they're planning to do is they're gonna have the four original map packs, which is not, 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 I'm not German so I can pronounce these, not, der Tuten, Verrucht, Shinonuma, and Doris, um, plus the new map, Moon. Well, a lot of people have been asking this question. Is it actually going to be taking place on the moon? Well, it's stated here on the Call of Duty website. This is the second level in the entire Call of Duty series to, set, to be set off of Earth. The first being the second sun and the first level of the zombie series to be set off of Earth. So, obviously, it's not going to be on Earth. If you don't believe what the Call of Duty wiki says, here's a picture from the game that clearly shows a zombie in the middle of the frame there, floating. Now, you can also see the Earth right there. You know, right, right, right there. Some rocks and lunar surface right there. And maybe, if you, I'm not sure if you can see, but there's a couple little stars around there. So I'm pretty sure that we can assume that this is taking place on the moon. Now with that out of the way, we can discuss what's going to be new in the in the in the map. Um, well, as it's stated here, there's going to be a new perk, a new equipment, and two new wonder weapons, the wave gun and the quantum entanglement device. The wave gun is said in the description of the map, is said to cook zombies from the inside out. Now, when I first heard this, um, I was assuming that it was gonna like dissolve the zombies from the inside out and stuff like that. But as you can see in the trailer here, here's Nikolai holding the wave gun. Bam, zombie. Wait, what the fuck was that? That wasn't cooking. He, like, turned into the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. I don't get how that has any relation to cooking. I've never seen my chicken inflate like a tumor when it's in the microwave. But, I digress. It's a cool, cool idea. I'm pretty sure they could have come up with a better way of describing what it does, but it's cool nonetheless. Now, the second one, the Quantum Entanglement Device, or the QED, is said also in the description, ta it's ta it taps into the theories of quantum mechanics to bless or curse the player in the battle of the un against the undead. Now, I don't know, they haven't released on what they actually mean by bless or curse. Could be anything, so I can't really say anything on that. Now, I'm kind of confused here. This might be old, because I found this before the release video was released. But in the video right here, you can see what appears to be a, another Wonder Weapon right there. Okay? Now, it's not stated anywhere on the wiki. Um, but as you can see, it's obviously a pistol similar to the Ray Gun or Winter's Howl. And it's dual wield. And by the effects it shows, it's going to have a, I'm assuming it's going to have a similar effect to that of the Wonder Waffle. 
but I might be wrong. So, we'll have to wait and see on what's that going to be, okay? Moving on to the perk. Now, I'm kind of debating here, because it's the moon. There's no oxygen on the moon, and the gravity is really low. Now, what the perk does, I don't know, there's been some speculation on the Call of Duty wiki again. I get everything from the Call of Duty wiki, okay? So it said, someone said that the perk is supposed to give you the ability to hold three weapons instead of two. Um, might be cool, but, but I'm still trying to figure out how you'd be able to walk on Earth, walk on the moon, and how Treyarch would be able to, um, uh, how Treyarch would be able to explain how you're walking on the moon without suffocating. Now, my idea is maybe that the perk allows you to breathe, so it gives you oxygen, and maybe a name for it would be Oxygenade. Oxygenate. Or maybe, maybe it allows you to walk, um, to walk normally. So you have regular weight as if you were on Earth, which could be gravity. I'm just making these names up, okay? But yet again, in the trailer, in various, in various clips, you can see the characters with sets of equipment that are different. Like here, you can see Tank with no helmet, firing the, um, firing the, what is that called? Death Machine. And here you can see Nikolai not wearing anything. And here you can, wait, motherfucker. Why is there a black guy? What, I have, I'm not racist or anything, but why the fuck is there a black guy? What does a black guy have to do with this? Treyarch said that there was going to be the original characters. Tank, Nikolai, Takeo, and Rektifin. Where the fuck did this black guy come from? Oh. So that's basically all I have for you today. That's all I've been able to research with my lovely time. So get ready for next episode of WFPS, where we will be playing it for the first time. Get ready. Next time on WFPS, Mitchell and his friends, Eric and Andrew, play the new Call of Duty Black Ops map pack, Resurrection. With all the classic zombie maps and a new map, Moon. Will Mitchell and his friends be able to defeat the hordes of zombies? Find out next time on WFPS.